डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी Hello students I welcome you to the Chaitanya studio of Dr Baba Saheb Ambedkar Open University to deal with the video lectures of BBA We are going to cover today one of the papers of BBA 602 entrepreneurship development and in this paper we are going to deal with block 3 unit 1 it is very necessary that bba people who are grooming themselves who are developing themselves as managers of tomorrow they start thinking about the concept of entrepreneurship it is good to work under somebody but it is better to work for oneself develop the ability to work develop the ability of taking risk if you have vision and readiness to work for 24 by 7 then you can be an entrepreneur and you know that entrepreneurs play a very crucial role in the economic development of the nation our economy would grow if more and more people involved themselves in entrepreneurship and startups so let us see what your module says or what are the objectives of this particular unit and we go ahead with the role of entrepreneurs in the economic development of the nation these are the learning objectives that it is expected after reading this module after studying this module students should be in a position to understand or comprehend the general contributions of entrepreneurs to the economy and the role of entrepreneur in the indian economy in particular know the entrepreneurial culture realize the role of motivation learn hints to help entrepreneurs perceive the global role of the entrepreneurs so let us begin with the introduction that entrepreneurs create opportunities for increase the per capita output and the income per capita income income of an individual this is closely connected associated with the opportunities which are created by entrepreneurs so that means it is a close connection with the income of the people on one hand they means entrepreneurs on one hand entrepreneurs create new products and services to fill needs of the society on the other hand they also provide employment either directly in units controlled by them or in a territory units or a tertiary unit that supply their units with raw materials machinery etc one theory of economic growth portrays innovation as the key in stimulating the investment in new technologies and new products how they generate income 
by direct way or by indirect way. So, we can say entrepreneurs generate income for the people either in a direct form or an indirect form. When they provide employment to somebody in their industry, in their startup, in their production house, in their service sector, it is a direct income. But when they purchase raw material, goods and services from other tertiary units or services, they are providing job opportunities or income opportunities for other people in an indirect form. So, these entrepreneurs, they play a very crucial role in the economic growth of the nation by following the concept of innovation, which is considered as the key stimulating investment in the new changing technologies and new products. Contributions of entrepreneurs to the economy as we are discussing right now. There are four uh, parameters or four aspects associated with it. That how entrepreneurs and economy could be clubbed together or why the concept of entrepreneurs to the economy requires this kind of discussions. So, that is why we have titled it as contributions of entrepreneurs to the economy. What do they do? How do they do it? We are going to study it in detail, but let us have a brief idea about it. Entrepreneurs make unique contribution to the economy. Their contribution is unique. It is something different. It is not ordinary. We need to take note of it. Over the years, they have started playing a very crucial role in, in Indian economy in a unique way. Entrepreneurs create innovations that improve the quality of life. Remember, they introduce new products or services. Their innovations definitely bring lot of profits for them. But at the same time, their innovations improve the quality of life of the people. This is called social contribution also. And if the quality of life of the people is improved, how wonderful for the citizens, for the people of any country. And entrepreneurs have been doing it. Entrepreneurs create new jobs. Unemployment is a major issue. But if more and more people, instead of seeking the jobs, if they become job creators in the form of entrepreneurs, automatically they will be creating more jobs for skilled laborers as well as for unskilled laborers. Entrepreneurs make the economy more competitive. Economy should run fast. Economy should be made competitive. That if there is a manufacturer of only 
one manufacturer of a particular product, then there will be monopoly and there will not be any kind of competition. So the market should be competitive and who make this market competitive? The entrepreneurs, because more and more people innovate new products, create the environment of competitive world and it helps the economy in general. So we can say that they play a very important, crucial, major, not worthy role in the Indian economy. So let us talk, let us throw some light on the role of entrepreneurs in the Indian economy. Entrepreneurs play a major role in the development of the Indian economy. Entrepreneurs play a pivotal role, a crucial role in engendering economic growth and regional development. According to NIESBUD, it is one of the body that is involved in the survey and activities of entrepreneurs. They have said some of the areas in which entrepreneurs have had a positive and lasting impact according to them. Two things you have to take care here that entrepreneurs play important role in economic growth as well as regional development. That means entrepreneurs do not help, do not grow the particular economy or the economy of a particular nation, but they also help in the growth of the development of that particular region from the facilities point of view, from the infrastructure point of view, from economical upgradation and upliftment point of view. So there are some positive and long lasting impact of entrepreneurship. One, employment generation. More and more new industry, more and more entrepreneurs, and more and more job creations. So automatically, employment will be generated. More and more people will get the job. Their social and economical development will be there. So the happiness index of the country goes up, the economical index of the country goes up and at the same time sociological context also improves. National production. The production of the nation from products point of view, from services point of view, improves, increases and goes on. Dispersal of economic power. When more and more people get job, when more and more people are involved in the entrepreneurship activities, the power of economy doesn't remain with few individuals because everybody is going economically. And that helps in dispersal of the economical power. Many people, more and more people are becoming independent economically. Balanced regional development. Sometime certain areas of the city, of the state, of the country are not taken care from the business activities and that is why they do not grow, they do not develop. But entrepreneurs have started entering into 
those areas which are not developed. So, by earning profit for themselves, they are adding to the Indian economy and at the same time, they are helping in developing those regions, those areas, these talukas, those districts, those locations which were not developed. So, there is a balanced, you can say regional development and gainful utilization of the vigor of youth. Youth of India, youth of our country, youth of our state, they are very dynamic, they are very powerful, they have a lot of things, they have a lot of energy, but all these things are to be channelized and entrepreneurs provide that platform that their energy is converted into the dynamism. Their energy help them in making themselves economically sound, socially better and this is done by the entrepreneurs. This entrepreneurship or the entrepreneurs can be developed. You can be an entrepreneur or if you have this kind of culture of entrepreneurship in you, there is a possibility that you may become an entrepreneur. So, that is why it is titled as entrepreneurial culture. Do you have this, 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 this or these are the things that may help you in making you entrepreneurs. They are divided into two main categories. One, some personal features, personal qualities and second, some motivational qualities or motivational features. At a personal level, what helps you in making you an entrepreneur? Your childhood and family. In which environment, in which background you are growing? It is very important for your future. If your family members talk more about business, they are involved in entrepreneurship and from your childhood, you have been observing how your parents, your family members, your relatives have reached up to this level, then automatically you are also started grooming towards that direction. So, your childhood and family helps you directs you towards entrepreneurship. Your education, if you study in premier institutes, if you study in entrepreneurship development institutes or good teachers, good professors during their classroom discussions have paid a lot of attention in developing entrepreneurship qualities in you, there are chances that you may become a good entrepreneur. Value systems for making you a good entrepreneur, we need to have, you need to have certain values that I will do this, I will not do this. I will follow this, I will not in any circumstances violate any rules of the country. So, this value system also makes you a good entrepreneur. Your age, for achieving certain things, there is a particular age. If you start believing in yourself at a very young age, there are better chances of making yourself a good entrepreneur, a successful entrepreneur in a long term and work history. Sometimes you are working somewhere, you are working in an organization that may not give you the pleasure of working there or they provide you the opportunity of innovation and research and then you start believing that even I can do it, I can, we can, 
if he can or she can and then you start thinking in this direction and make yourself a good entrepreneur all these things are there but you need some motivation students and this motivation could be there from the support system from the moral support systems and from the professional support system wherever you are working that is called professional support system moral support system something your ethics that you have imbibed from your family from your reading from your observations they also help you and the overall system government mechanisms other bodies they should also motivate you if you go with any proposal to the authority to the government authority if the government authority talks to you nicely approves your plans quickly if you get loans from the banks at the right time at a reasonable rate of interest automatically you are going to think about starting a new business so that means there should be a support from the system there should be a moral support and at the same time there should be a system of professional support too fundamental business advice is basic things if you wish to be an entrepreneur if you want to contribute in the economy of the nation groom yourselves in this way you believe in yourself first of all i have written it in a separate way not under the point of points that the first requirement is that you believe in yourself that yes i can do it and you have ideas and dreams there should be some ideas and at the same time there should be some dreams that yes i have wings to fly but i must know my direction that is my vision that is my idea and dreams can be fulfilled by working very hard so find out you have all these things then start making certain assumptions about you that you can be an entrepreneur so first of all find a need what is the requirement of tomorrow that is called find a need be ahead of your time find a niche a space where the giants want bother to go big industrialists big businessmen may not think about entering into that field find out that this is the need of the society this is the need of tomorrow enter into that field at the right time and then you will get the success identify your market and learn all about it you have to know everything about your business at the start have a adequate financing to start and to stay success does not happen overnight so be sure your financial fit once you are there then prepare a business plan planning is very important everywhere so prepare a business plan yes you have to no bank will take you seriously without a plan for profits you are interested in getting financial support from any institute in general and banks in particular then you need to convince the authority and for convincing the authority you need to have a business plan if you have a concrete business plan which leads you towards the profit then there are better chances of getting financial support from anyone so have a business plan pay for the best professional advice 
you may not be expert in all the fields. Ready to find out experts from the various fields by paying handsome amount to them. So pay for the best professional advice. Get the best to deliver the best. Lawyers, accountants, insurers do work on as needed fee basis. You need good lawyers. If any complications, any legal issue arises while you start your business or entrepreneurship. You need good chartered accountants who are master in managing, in guiding your financial resources. And at the same time, good insurers for safety. Keep your overhead low expenses low and your standards high. Work from home or at a low cost and at a convenient location. Establish a clearly defined distribution network. Goods are ready, but where will you sell? So design and define your network. Whatever your product or service, how will you present and sell it as I told you. Be creative. Your idea does not count. Depend on marketing strategies rather than constantly advising to grow. One day in your BBA you will understand there is a difference between marketing and advertisement. Seek and hire the most qualified people. From the first employee, look for someone who knows more than you. Be open as we discussed earlier, flexible. Know your competitors and competition and work to win. Be persistent, be focused and be flexible. Anything can happen. Learn from the success and failures of others. Read, watch the trends and observe what is hot in the industry, what is new in the industry, what is there in the industry, what is more in demand. Use technology as a tool for building a business from computers to telecommunication to the web use them all. Don't be sensitive over hypersensitive and don't take it personally. Be prepared for rejection but never give up your dream. Never underestimate the power of passion. If you are passionate about your skill, you are passionate about your work, if you are passionate about your goal, you are definitely going to have it. You will need to take risk and believe when no one else does. So, whatever you have studied, it is right time to assess. So, there are certain questions that would definitely help you in assessing your knowledge. So, focus on this question. And if you want to enrich your knowledge further in this subject, then you can refer all these books that would help you in making you a good entrepreneur and how entrepreneurs help Indian economy. So, students, we have covered in this lecture how the entrepreneurs help in growing, in building the economy of the nation. Entrepreneurs take risk. They find out new products, new innovations. And by doing this, they are earning huge profits. But what do they do along with earning huge profits for themselves? They also generate economical benefits job opportunities for the people, the skilled laborers and unskilled laborers. And all this supportive system, all the agencies that work with that entrepreneur also grow economy. So entrepreneurs play a crucial role in growing the Indian economy. 
try to visualize yourself as the entrepreneurs of tomorrow and try to contribute in the economy of our country in future thank you smart